It's a popular holiday gift. You may have even opened one up yesterday. At home DNA kits entice you to find out about your ancestry and learn more about your health. But when it comes to showing your risk for getting certain diseases in the future, doctors say watch out. This morning, I'm taking you behind the headline. For only $129, 23andMe says they'll find your ancestry and test your genetic risk factor for certain diseases, including type 2 diabetes, late onset Alzheimer's, and BRCA1 or 2, commonly associated with breast cancer. Dr. Cecilia Belcross is a board certified genetics counselor and an associate professor at Emory. What's the issue with people reading these results at home? If they are reading those results as this is a for sure 100% accurate prediction and ignoring things like their family history or their lifestyle and environment, then they are getting a very skewed and inaccurate picture of their actual risk. Thanks to better technology, genetic medicine has exploded and testing your own DNA has become quite popular. Thanks to several direct-to-consumer kits. Now with a quick spit or swab, people can do it from home. But Dr. Belcross says interpreting the results is not so easy. She says think of it like a puzzle with a thousand pieces. We're trying to figure out the puzzle picture with only 50 of those puzzle pieces. So there's a lot of missing information. On their website, 23andMe admits they only test for certain variants in a gene. That means if you have a variant they don't test for, you could still be at risk. It also means that even if the results show you're in the clear, you could still develop the disease. Genetics is not a crystal ball. The FDA limits how much at-home kits can say, so some people have gone the extra step of sending those results to a third-party lab. Dr. Belcross says that's where the real harm comes in. A study was released showing that 40% of the results coming out of that third-party lab were false positives. This is potentially life-changing information that could cause real panic and distress. Yes, yes. And the last thing to consider, think about if you're ready for whatever the test could show. Parents are doing these tests on their kids. Would you want to know if your five-year-old was going to get early onset Alzheimer's disease? Shouldn't that be their decision on whether or not to be tested? We reached out to 23andMe and several other companies. 23andMe sent us a statement that says, in part, if an individual has a family history of a medical condition or other indications for clinical testing, we always recommend consulting a healthcare provider first. 23andMe results can do, can and do facilitate valuable conversations with healthcare providers. We will put the full statement on our website at 11alive.com.